Hi, my name's Ben. I just wanted to record a short video to let you know about my experience with non-surgical AC, ACL rehabilitation. So my story started when I, I played basketball twice a week and I was about around 38 years old at the time. I've had a few um, issues with my knee before, like an MCL um, grade 2 uh, tear. And when I was, that was about 10 years ago. So when I was about 38, I noticed my knee was a bit off. Um, it, it would occasionally, maybe once every year or once every year and a half, it would pop out um, when I landed from a jump playing basketball. So what I did once that happened again and I went to a physio and they said, oh, we think it's a kneecap problem, that sort of thing. And they, they led, that led me to getting a scan done. And they realized that the ACL has actually been ruptured. So this was a bit of a surprise because I was actually playing sport uh, and you know playing basketball twice a week with a ruptured ACL. So they recommended I go see a surgeon immediately um, and I went and saw the surgeon. The surgeon gave me one option which was well you should have, no sorry, two options. He said you can either have surgery or if you don't want to play sport or run again or anything like that you can just do nothing. So he didn't mention at all anything about non-surgical rehabilitation of ACL injury, and I didn't know any better. So I booked in the surgery. Then I happened to be talking to a colleague of mine at work, and he mentioned that he'd heard of a physio who specialises in non-surgical ACL rehab. So I went and saw him, and that was Kieran Richardson. Um, and he told me, walked me through the whole process and told me how it generally works and the success rates and also went through the research <clears throat> that indicates that uh, non-surgical ACL rehabilitation is definitely possible. So after two sessions with Kieran I cancelled my surgery and started the rehab process and the rehab was really I, I'd, I'd recommend you to do that if you're if you're re watching this video as someone who's just um, injured their ACL I recommend giving non-surgical rehabilitation a, a try first before you look at the surgical option. Um, the reason being is for me I found that the exercises that you were doing as part of the rehabilitation were good for building strength in your legs. So you are doing a workout as well as doing the rehab. So you know once you do surgery, you have the surgery, you're sort of waiting for surgery then you, you wait for surgery, then you start doing slow rehabilitation after the surgery to rebuild. But what I found with the rehabilitation, the non-surgical approach, was you basically just get stuck straight into exercises and strengthening. And I used to think my legs were relatively strong, like they, they were okay, because um, I do weights and things like that a few times a week. But what I found was when I was doing the rehab was my legs were nowhere near as strong as they could be. And so there's a variety of exercises that Kieran led me through and I've had great success. So I think I did the rehab for about five months with a progression of exercises. So those being um, probably the worst ones that I did for me, the most difficult exercises were the single leg stand-ups. Um, so it's like a single leg squat type of thing with, um, which has been very difficult and I'd never actually done that before in my life. And my leg is now strong enough. I can show you. I'll do a little demo of that um, of that exercise for you now, as to what I can do with the knee now. I could never do that before. So that started off as a really painful nightmare in terms of not painful for my knee, but painful for all the muscles. So two days after though that, when I started doing those exercises, I was in muscular agony, just aches, hard to walk. And not in a structural way, I'm talking about just my muscles weren't used to doing those sort of strong exercises. And so after that died down, I progressed really quickly. Uh, my knee inflammation went down. Then I started doing a bunch of jumping exercises, jumping, pivoting, jumping on one leg, jumping on boxes, jumping off boxes, twisting, pivoting in the air and landing. And that's really challenging as well. But what the good thing about it is the whole process gives you control over your rehab. So it's, um, you feel as if you're in control. You're the one driving it. You're not waiting for a surgeon to cut you open and fix you up. You are driving your rehabilitation and you're controlling the process. And that's empowering and made me feel more confident in, in the knee and the approach. And as I gained confidence in it, I was jumping, you know, jumping off a box, um, landing on one leg, uh, you know, which is about 
let's say 60 centimeters high that's quite substantial effort for someone who's done their ACL and is quite you know tentative about that knee so since that time I've gone back to play basketball I'm playing between once or twice a week depending and I've played I think around I would say about 30 to 40 games now with no issues um, previously I used to have a bit of instability where I could feel the knee slightly moving um, now I have none of that through the strengthening and conditioning exercises that Kieran led me through so I just want to say um, it is achievable I'm 39 years old almost 40 years old so I'm certainly not a young athlete I'm, I'm not a professional sportsman obviously I'm a very amateur basketball player but I managed to return to sport and I think um, if you're considering non-surgical approaches I would give it a serious consideration because it is possible and it does work and it lets you take control of your rehab rather than waiting for surgery to do that for you and um, and it also the, the exercises that Kieran gives you although I said they were quite difficult um, you do progress very quickly they're not difficult to do they just require your leg to get stronger quickly and that's what will happen so you don't have to be a, a, a super sports man or woman to do the rehabilitation. It's a good process. It's enjoyable. And Kieran, if you do have it, have the um, fortune of using Kieran as your physio to do that, it's a pleasurable experience um, running through the exercises and meeting with Kieran. And he keeps your attitude up. He's got a very positive approach, which has been really helpful. So I just wanted to share my story with you. Um, give non-surgical rehab a go and see how you go.